Hello and welcome back to NAS Compares and today I want to talk about the DS916 Plus and how it compares with the newer unit, the DS918 Plus. Now both of these devices aren't exactly new but we've talked about this on the other YouTube channel but I do think it's worth revisiting for you guys out there looking for a bargain and particularly Plex Media Server Hunters. So let's get started. Right, so the DS916 Plus and the DS918 Plus are four bay expandable boxes from the guys at Tonology. And if you're looking for a four bay NAS at a good cost effective level, either one of these two are gonna be good for you. They've both got very similar architecture in terms of hardware and in terms of software, they're near enough identical. Both of them arrive with USB 3 port, a front mounted one touch copy button there. And both of them arrive with dual gigabit LAN ports on the rear, which enables link aggregation, which is fantastic for people out there that want to have increased upload and download to the device and with media files getting bigger all the time that's definitely something that's advantageous now in terms of price both of them are about a relatively similar price level about 430 to 450 quid uh, without that depending on where you buy from however it is worth noting that the older device is hard to come by so when you do see it and if you're interested in buying it my advice is to buy it immediately because the older device up there the ds916 plus does have a few advantages over the old model first and foremost that CPU. The CPU inside that device is a Pentium, uh, whereas in the DS918, the CPU is a Solera, and the Pentium is a greater frequency. So generally, a CPU against CPU, the 916 CPU is better. However, in terms of efficiency and in a few other areas, the CPU on the newer unit is actually better. Now, it all depends really how you're gonna utilize this device, because you know, I mentioned at the bottom of the screen there, home, office, and Plex, because these three areas will give you different results. In terms of a home user NAS device, the 916 is better. If you're only gonna be utilizing it for um, network access, that's within your home environment, network backups, and you're utilizing it as a home NAS with nothing, even slightly business-based, the 916 is the better NAS for you. It has a lower power consumption uh, compared with the two of them. It utilizes exactly the same amount of um, memory. Both of them support either four or eight gig officially of DDR3 memory that both can unofficially go to 16 gig and both of them have the same amount of software support from Synology with DSM 6.1, 6.2 in beta. Everything from Synology Moment to Synology Drives, Photo Station, Video Station, uh, and Synology Office, Chat, Docs, all of those first party apps, and of course, surveillance. With both of these devices supporting up to 40 simultaneous cameras with two camera licenses included in the Synology software. However, if we move to the next case, Office, Definitely the newer unit. The newer unit, the DS918 Plus, again, almost identical price threshold. The DS918 Plus supports a much, is a much more efficient CPU. It may not be as high a powered as the Pentium, but it can do more within that power threshold, and it's a far more efficient chip. Also, it can be expanded with NVMe SSDs. It's the only NAS I know of in existence that has NVMe slots on the bottom that let you install uh, M2 and NVMe SSDs to provide faster SSD caching. And if you're an Office uh, user or you're having large-scale backups across many, many users in an Office, maybe you're a photo video editor, maybe you have lots of photos and regular accessing files, or you can have one or two virtual machines living on either of these devices, the newer unit, the 918 Plus, is better for that. So if you're an Office user, go for the 918. You will see more advantages and it's far more scalable in terms of the internal and indeed external hardware with both of them being expandable. Which leads us to the third point, Plex. Because between these two devices, both of them could be utilized as a Plex media server. And technically, like for like, the Pentium on the 916 is better for Plex and it will transcode a great deal better. However, the newer unit lets Plex utilize the transcoding engine. And when you have a Plex Media Server, one of the earliest things you learn about Plex with a NAS is that although you might have a CPU in your NAS that supports um, uh, transcoding and you know transforming 4K and 1080p files into smaller versions, Plex, as it's a third-party app, will not have access to that transcoding engine and will therefore have to utilize raw CPU power to achieve those results. The result is, that whereas native transcoding in any 4K or 1080p file on the NAS might utilize utilizing the transcoding engine, that little bit of the CPU that's dedicated to rendering and that sort of thing, native 
First party apps will utilize 30 to 40% of that CPU doing that transcoding. In Plex, that number on the 916 will go all the way up to 70 or 80% immediately and therefore make everything else you're doing on the device struggle. Now on the newer device, yes, natively it will use even less. It will utilize 20 to 30% of the CPU to transcode a single, even 4K media file. But in Plex, it will utilize significantly less hardware to transcode and change those files. So if you're looking at either of these two four Plex, I urge you to go for the newer unit. Ignore the fact that the CPU is a Pentium on the older unit and therefore better. Because like for like, the performance is better on that Pentium. But in Plex, because Plex has access to the transcoding engine via the new unit, which it can only, Plex only has that on a handful of NASes, you will see better results as a Plex media server on the DS918+. Plus. But whichever of these two devices you go for, do know that you are getting one of the top spec best NASes out there. So do visit there in the comments at the bottom below. The NAS compares where we've got the comparison of these devices and the best places to buy. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe to support the channel if you found this helpful. And of course, stay tuned for more videos about the latest NAS releases. Thank you so much for watching. See you later.